many longtime users find that it's often faster to start commands by typing. When you type on the command line, the program automatically completes the entry with a command or command alias. For example, if I type the letter L, notice that the program displays a list of all of the commands that start with that letter. As I type more letters, the list gets filtered to show just those commands that match what I've typed. I can start the command at any time by selecting it from the list. The program actually searches for the letters you type within commands. For example, if I type setting, the suggestion list displays commands containing the word setting anywhere within it, not just at the beginning. The order of commands in the suggestion list are initially displayed in the order of their usage based on general customer data. But as you continue to use the program, the suggestion list will adapt to your own usage habits. The list can also auto-correct to compensate for your errors when typing. For example, if you accidentally type T-A-B-E-L, notice that it auto-corrects to the most relevant command, which in this case would be the table command. The command line also has a built-in synonym list. For example, if you type symbol, the program matches that with the insert command, so you can insert a block. Or, if you type round, it finds the fillet command, so you can add a fillet to a corner. You can also add your own words to the autocorrect and synonym lists. You can also use the command line to quickly search for other content, such as hatch patterns, blocks, and even internet help. For example, if I type angle, notice that the program finds the hatch pattern called angle. When I move the cursor over that item, I see an image of the hatch pattern. I can click that suggestion to start the hatch command and fill the triangle with the angle hatch pattern. Similarly, if I type chair, the program sees that the drawing has several block definitions with the name chair. When I move the cursor over one of these items in the list, I see a preview image of that block, and I can quickly insert an instance of that block by clicking on it in the suggestion list. I can also use the command line to search for more information about a command or system variable. When I move the cursor over an item in the list, two icons appear. And I can then click to search for information in the program's help system or on the internet. To make the suggestion list easier to navigate, system variables and other content are organized into expandable categories. You can expand a category to see the results or Press the tab key to cycle through each category. You can also control the appearance and behavior of the command line. When you either right click on the command line or click the customize button, you can then choose from a menu to adjust the various input settings, change the number of lines in the command prompt history, adjust the transparency of the command line, or access the options dialog. For example, if I expand input settings, notice that all of the various input settings are turned on by default, but you can easily toggle any of these settings on and off. When I click input search options, the program displays an input search options dialog, so I can control the various input search options. Lastly, you can control the color of the various elements of the command line, such as the command history background and the color of command option keywords. To change these settings, click Options to open the Display tab of the Options dialog. Then click the Colors button to open the Drawing Window Colors dialog. In the Content list, choose Command Line. 
you can then choose any of the command line interface elements and adjust their colors.